Hey guys, today I am going to show you guys my morning skincare routine. It's been like about a year now since I started doing my skincare routine. Like, cause like, I used to be the type of person that would be like, Oh, skincare, that is so pointless. It's useless. Plus who has the time to do a 10 to 20 step skincare routine. But I've been getting so many compliments on my skin and my weight loss and everything and i'm like you know what i'm not gonna gatekeep so i figured that i'd show you guys my morning skincare routine so the first thing you're gonna do is obviously wash your hands you don't know how much germs and bacteria are on your hands and obviously you have to clean them before you touch your face that's like germs and bacteria if you're touching your your face with dirty hands all those germs and bacteria are just gonna make you break out, you know? And plus at the gym, I've noticed that a lot of guys, like whenever they go to the gym and then they use the bathroom, they don't wash their hands after. And then that's how you go and use the dumbbells in the workout machines and then everyone else touches that. That is literally so gross. So literally always wash your hands, please. So the first step of my morning skincare routine is using this Hydrating Facial Cleanser by CeraVe. Literally any skincare routine starts off by you using some type of cleanser. And I use a Hydrating Facial Cleanser by CeraVe because it makes my skin look hydrated and just bright. It brightens my skin throughout the entire day. So we are going to scrub it into our skin for about two minutes or so and really get in there. Back in high school, I used to have such terrible acne. Like, I don't know if like any of my high school friends remember, but my face was just so bad and I would break out all the time. And that's because I was eating like a whole bunch of junk food and I was also going through puberty at the time. So it was just horrible. I would literally show you any pictures if I had any, but I don't because I was that insecure with myself. It was just one time my freshman year, one of my friends accidentally touched my face somehow. And then he like felt weird about it. And then he goes, ew, why does your face feel like that? Like you should definitely do something about that. I was like, oh, you fucking bitch. Why would you say that to me? Like I was already feeling insecure with myself. There was this one time I went to Walmart and I bought this like, I don't know, makeup powder or like foundation. I don't know what it is, what it was. And I applied it to my face so that my face would look clear. <laughs> and it kind of did the trick. But then one of my friends looked at me and then he goes, are you wearing makeup? And then I was like, no. And then he goes, oh, it looks like you're wearing makeup. And then I was like, fuck, what do I do? Like, do I tell him the truth? Or like, this is literally so embarrassing. Is it that noticeable? I thought to myself. But then I just told him, oh, no, it's, it's just this one new acne cream that I've been using and then he goes oh it looks like you're wearing makeup and i was like oh my gosh this is so bad so i went to the restroom and then i wiped it off because this was the beginning of the day and i didn't want anybody else to even notice it now the next step is using this gua sha while you still have the hydrating facial cleanser on your face you know before rinsing it all off and stuff Using this will help you, like it'll it'll make it go by smoothly. This is like apparently supposed to help with like creating a sharp jawline and stuff like that, and like you know creating like a good a good face structure. Honestly, I think that it does work. I don't know if it was this or me losing weight that helped, but it just makes me feel better about myself overall. I count to thirty, so like one. Two, three, four, ten, twelve. And obviously you're gonna do the same thing to both sides. So I did 30 on this side and I'm gonna do 30 on this side. I did also see Olivia Rodrigo do something like this. After rinsing it off with some water, um, I'm gonna go ahead and shave, which I know what you're thinking, Alex, what are you talking about? Shave? You literally have a baby face. Like people say that to me all the time. Like 
what are you shaving or whatever you have nothing like whatever and then they make fun of me for it but like there's like little bits of stubble because i shave every single day because i i hate having any signs of facial hair because you know i'm i'm 22 years old and i want to keep myself looking young i want to look young i want to have a little baby face so i shave every single day and i make sure that there are no signs of facial hair my parents are always like oh why don't you just let it grow out let it grow out so people know you're a man i'm like <laughs> I literally want to look so young, dumb, and immature because I am young, dumb, and immature. Listen, I want to look as young as possible. I'm only 22 years old, so I have my whole life ahead of me to end up growing out a beard or a mustache to look mature. The reason you want to cleanse before shaving is because you're going to open up your pores when you shave and you want to make sure that there are no germs or bacteria on your face that'll end up going inside your open pores causing you to break out that is why it's always important to cleanse before shaving i don't know how i ended up getting shaving cream on my head how did that even happen so the next thing that I use is this niacinamide by The Ordinary. It helps a lot with my pores and shrinking them and making them look small. Without this, my pores are literally so ginormous and ugly. It's like, whoa. Just gonna gently massage it onto my forehead, my cheeks, my nose. I will also go ahead and admit that it's like 1 o'clock in the afternoon and it's not even morning time. <laughs> the reason for that is because I'm on summer break. I am a third year marketing student and I am on summer break. So luckily I've been able to sleep in until like 9am. I wake up, I go to the gym, work out, come back home, make myself a breakfast and Sometimes I just sit for a while and watch TV before I take a shower and then I do my skincare routine. I literally love my morning routine because during the semester, I wake up at 4 a.m. to go to the gym and then come back home and get ready so that I can be on campus on time. That's because it's always hard finding a good parking spot. So I wake up at 4 a.m. to be productive and be on campus at a decent time. Now this vitamin C is literally the secret to having a glow on your skin. It literally says glow day serum. So this brand that I use is by Province Beauty. I literally bought this from TJ Maxx because I'm too broke to go anywhere else. <laughs> After the niacinamide dries, um, that's whenever you wanna apply the vitamin C. Moisturizing is literally the most important part of any type of skincare routine. Whether it's your morning skincare routine or your night skincare routine, moisturizing is always, always super important. The brand that I use is this one by Cetaphil. Cetaphil's moisturizing lotion. I've, as a kid, my mom would always try to moisturize my skin. A lot of products ended up making me break out or me just like getting uh, some type of reaction to it, making my face super red. So for the longest time, I never moisturized until I started using Cetaphil. It's just perfect for my skin. I feel like I do have gentle, oily skin. It's perfect for dry to normal sensitive skin. I'm telling you, dude, keeps me looking moisturized. That way I don't look dry or oily. I wish I would have started doing my skincare routine in high school because in high school, my face would always be super oily. Like I would grab one of those paper towels that they have in the public school restrooms and like wipe off my nose and it would be so oily and gross. I was like, ew, what the junk? Why is all this literally in my face? Boom. This is literally one of my favorite products. I think I bought this from, where did I get this? 
I use this eye cream by Bliss uh, for my dark circles. I honestly swear that my dark circles used to be so much worse until I started using this cream. I'm pretty sure that I bought this from Walmart um, because I saw that Emma Chamberlain used this type of brand and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a shot. And honestly, it worked and it has helped me so much. Last but not least, obviously you wanna moisturize your lips using some type of lip balm or chapstick or whatever. I use this one by Carmex because um, all the other ones, I feel like they just make my lips worse and my lips just end up feeling super dry. So, oh, apply it to my lips. It also has SPF 15 sunscreen on it, which is perfect. I bought this shirt from Urban Outfitters and I love it because like since it's made out of linen, it's perfect for the summertime because I'm always sweating so bad during the summer. I remember one time in middle school, I wore these white pants and all of a sudden, like people started to think a certain thing about me just because I wore white pants and because I was into like fashion or whatever. And people just started assuming things about me and started like talking behind my back. And I'm like, dude, even in high school, there are certain times where I just wanted to dress a certain way but I was scared of people's judgment judgments against me that I did it. My freshman year of college, everyone judged me so hard whenever I started doing uh, YouTube videos. People like my so-called frat brothers or whatever, like saw my videos somehow and like started judging me and saying that, oh, that's weird. It's weird for you to have a YouTube channel. And like there was, so this is today's outfit of the day. We got these linen pants that I bought from H&M. Um, this linen um, button-up shirt from Urban Outfitters. And then the sunglasses I bought from Ross. The, the brand is Vans, but I bought them for like $20 on Ross, at Ross. What do y'all think? Do I look good or not? This is totally giving summer vibes. Like, am I in my summer fashion era right now or not? Here I am with my Yeti cup drinking water. I'm telling you, it's also very important to be drinking your water, a gallon of water a day, because drinking lots of water also helps with your skin. I drink half a gallon at the gym every morning, and then for the rest of the day, all I have to do is just finish one more half gallon, and boom, there's a gallon of water. And it has like so many benefits to your skin. So that was my morning skincare routine and my little get ready with me. You guys have to let me know if you guys try it out because honestly, I love my skincare routine. I usually play music while I do my morning skincare routine. And it's just like such a, such a morning therapy for me. If you're in your 20s, it's honestly time to start getting into some type of skincare routine morning and night because this is the age where we have to you know, be in our self-care era and like really care about our skin, the way we dress, going to the gym and working out and everything that we eat. Whatever you eat really does take a big part of your skin because if you're eating a whole bunch of junk food, too much sugar, your face looks all bloated, you have breakouts all the time. So having like a good diet is also like very beneficial for your skin. Um, and definitely like this video because every time I see a like on any of my vlogs, like you have no idea how much joy it brings to my heart. Like I'm always like, ah, people are liking my vlogs. Or is that cringe? Well, I will see y'all next time. Bye.